Today we're going to be tying a gurgler. Make your thread base all the way down to the bend of the hook. Now trim off the tag end of your thread. Brush out the fur before cutting a clump. You will want to separate the short and long hair. To do this, grab both ends firmly and pull. At the cut end, keep pulling to get all the under fur out. Tie in the clump above the bend. Making two loose wraps, then snugging it up. Now advance the thread towards the eye of the hook. Stopping a quarter of the shank length away. Now cut the tag ends of the fur. Then bring your thread over the cut ends and then bring it back down towards the bend of the hook. To tie in the crystal flash, double it over the thread and tie it in on the side of the shank. Now do the same for the other side. Pull the crystal flash back and make a couple wraps over both tie-in points. Now trim them to length. Now strip off one side of your hackle prior to tying it in. Tie it in in the same place you tied in your crystal flash, advancing your thread wraps forward and capturing the stem. Trim the tag end, advance your thread past the cut end, and then bring it back down towards the bend. Make five or six connecting wraps with the hackle towards the eye of the hook. Then tie in the hackle and trim the tag end. Tie in your chenille in front of the hackle. Advance your thread towards the eye of the hook. Tie in the foam behind the eye of the hook. Then proceed to make tight connecting thread wraps all the way down the shank.
then advance the thread back behind the eye of the hook. To help keep the thread tension while wrapping the chenille up, at this moment you can throw either a half hitch or a quick whip finish in. Start wrapping the chenille up towards the eye of the hook, making sure to make connecting wraps the whole way. Once you've reached the edge of the foam, you can tie in your chenille. Then pull the chenille back and make a couple thread wraps in front. Now cut the tag end. And make a few more wraps to clean up the front of the fly. You can also take a moment to trim up the chenille as well. Pull the foam forward, now make two loose thread wraps, then pull it tight, followed by a few more tight wraps. Cut one of the smaller pieces of foam in half. Now tie it in directly above the white foam. Cut the nose of the gurgler. Leave it long if you want a big splash, or short if you want a more subtle gurgler. Now make a few thread wraps around just the shank of the hook. Doing so will help keep the foam from sliding off to one side. Now throw in a quick whip finish, followed by pulling it tight and trimming the thread. Now you're ready for all the top water action you can handle.